swing. Bah, hear that click? Really get low and feel it. Again, down and lift. Look at that ball. Hey guys, in today's amazing tennis lesson, B2 and I are going to teach you how to 3X your topspin forehand in three very easy and fun tennis drills. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. Remember, every time you like one of my videos, B2 right here is gonna give you a free 100 B2 puppy kisses. B2's ready to run, B2 you ready to run? Oh, he's ready to run, watch this. He knows, he knows the game, he knows the drill. B2, go get the ball. He's running the wrong way, but will he figure it out? Will he figure it out? Okay, let's get started on this video. Before we start today's lesson, one thing I love is B2 loves to run and get the balls and go. Oh, he sees I got a tennis ball. Okay. He loves to go get the balls and then he's going to run into his crate. This is super cute. I know we're delaying the, the lesson. I promise I'll three, teach you how to 3X your toss and for him. But watch this. Watch how cute this is. In his home he goes and look at the collection of tennis balls he has. B2, you're stealing all my balls. How am I gonna make this video? Okay, so let's get into 3Xing your toss and forehand. That's why you're here. Now, if you struggle to get a lot of toss in the ball, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need more racket at speed or that's going to help you get more spin on the ball. It's really, if you watch the pros at an advanced level, I like to call the edge of power your edge has to be closed and leading towards the ball. If you do this, if you get beneath the ball and the edge is leading up like that, you're gonna get a good amount of spin on the ball. You're gonna get a good amount of toss spin. If you come up to the ball and you hit it like this, now you're hitting flat and the ball is not gonna rotate that much. So the first drill that I have for you, I call them clicks and we're gonna use the net. You don't even need a tennis ball. You don't even need these tennis balls. So I'm gonna show you what I call clicks to start to get you feeling what it's like to really spin and make a ball buzz and go over the net. Okay, so all you gotta do is get close to a net and the first thing I want you to do is take your edge and put it at the top of the white tape here and make sure that your edge is leading forward to it. You see that? If you hit the ball like this or like that, again, you're not gonna have much spin on it. So you wanna get comfortable getting right there. Now, what I want you to do is just back a couple of inches away and then come up and try and hit it there lightly and then follow through. And you notice the whole time we're doing this, look at the edge. It's hitting and then as the ball is gone, look at how the racket face is staying facing towards the ground and then you go through and you do that. If you're able to do that right there, you're hitting a lot of tossing on the ball, I promise. Okay, it doesn't take a lot of racket speed, it doesn't take a lot of crazy wrist action. All it takes is leading up to the ball with the edge, hitting it and going through. Then you could just back away a couple more inches so it's turning into a real swing. Bah, you hear that click? That's why I call them click. Back it up a little more and just keep doing this and feel that click. That's you buzzing the ball right there. That's you hitting tossing on it. Another important thing is you gotta make sure so you don't clunk all these balls down the bottom of the net that your racket face is always angled so you wanna have your wrist relaxed here. It always starts out below the net. See, so if I start below the net and I come up to it like that, even though my strings are leading down, because I'm coming beneath it, that's gonna be enough to get it over the net and in, okay? If you come here above the net and you click down, now you're gonna be hitting topspin right down into the, into the net because topspin, it naturally wants to go down. The reason why it goes up higher than a lot of, than like slice, right, is because we get our racket below the ball and we lift the ball up with our racket and our legs and we put the rotation, it goes up and then down. But if we don't get under it, it's just gonna clunk right down into the net. That's why a lot of people, when they first start to learn how to hit topspin, they hit a lot of balls in the net because topspin naturally wants to go down. So we gotta make sure our hands are beneath the ball and our body is beneath the ball so we can lift it up, put a lot of rotation on it like Rafael Nadal and get the ball to spin in. 
Okay, let's get to drill number two to 3X your Tossman forehand. Okay, this is a pretty cool camera angle. You have me, and then you have the other side of the net. That's what's, that's what's next to me right here. So, I call this the Serena challenge, all right? Because Serena does this to warm up, Serena Williams. She'll have her coach, Patrick, right by her side. He'll have a bunch of balls, and he basically feeds it really low, and then she's gotta lift the ball up and in. To do that, again, you gotta be really good with your click, that's why we start with that. And you gotta have a pretty good feel for the ball, and you gotta have a little bit of acceleration to bring it up and down. So this really kinda helps with a lot of the feeling of topspin. So what you wanna do is you get a basket of balls, you stand close to the net, you drop the ball below the net, okay? You don't want the ball to be up above the net, then it's cheating. Because remember, we want to lift it up and down. All right, so, and if you hit the ball into the net, the top of the net especially, don't, don't feel bad, you're, you're very close. But the more we get our legs low and lift up, see that, you see how that ball spun up and down over? Again, here, lift up, see I hit the top of the net. So it's really challenging, you gotta really get low and feel it. That's how I clipped the top of the net and went in. So it gives you a lot of feeling for how you gotta brush a ball to get it over the net and in. Great, great drill. Thank you, Serena and Patrick. Let's go to our final drill, our third and final drill that I call the Rafa Challenge to 3X our top spin in three drills. Okay, so our third and final drill, I call this the Rafa Challenge, the Rafa Top Spin Challenge because it's gonna really help you hit a ball like Rafael Nadal. Although, you know, we're obviously not gonna be as good as Rafael Nadal. But it kinda helps you get that, old, what I call the ultimate rally ball. A ball that's high over the net and then spins down in and bounces super high on your opponent. Which is a really challenging shot. If you get them to reach way up, either on the backhand or the forehand side, that's really, really hard for your opponent to do. And so, this is gonna help you do a couple really good things. Number one, if you hear coaches say, brush the ball. It's going to give you that feeling of brushing the ball. Racket head speed. You've got to accelerate to get this ball to go up and in. So you've got to have good racket head speed and you've got to use your body. You want to get your body low and lift up out of it in order to make this happen. So what we're trying to do is hit the ball higher over the net and get it to drop in. And if we swing too slow with this, the ball is going to go out. Okay, so you've actually got to accelerate so it really helps you accelerate the racket head speed so we want to hit the ball as high over the net with as much racket head speed as we're comfortable with and get that ball to bounce high and deep on the other side so it looks like this get down and lift okay that ball i think hit just on the line again down and lift look at that ball land and go up high down and lift oh my gosh that is a good one one more down and lift Oh, that's fun. And that's gonna be really, really tough for your opponent to handle. I call that the ultimate rally ball, okay? So if you like today's video, you love challenges. And I've got something cool for you because you know what they call the biggest, most devastating play on tour? It's called a serve plus one play. It's a serve and usually a big forehand or Rafa challenge forehand. And so what I wanna do right now is if you go up here in the card section, I wanna give you the seven day serve challenge for free. You get free 48 hour access to it so you can try it out. And uh, go up in the card section or in the description box. And don't forget to like this video so you make my buddy be too happy. I'll see you guys on the next one.